Carolyn, you were on fire last week and we had a big conversation and we decided this has to be a video. What was that all about? Sharing sex energy. And Mm -hmm. it sounds so simple and it's what we do in the workshops. And it's actually what I do in my personal partner sex life Mm -hmm. with my husband. You know, we have this idea when we look at Hollywood movies and the, um, concept of partner sex is two people come together they rip each other's clothes off Mm -hmm. uh the penis goes in the vagina it's very heteronormative and in a couple of minutes they have a simultaneous orgasm and that is the unicorn that's what we chase right that we're perfectly timed together and i was thinking about it because it's not how i have partner sex or how i have enjoyed pleasure my whole sex life Mm -hmm. and it's got one of the tenets of what Betty always said, that how we masturbate is what we bring to partner sex. Mm -hmm. And what it is, the nuance is I create sex energy. I create my own arousal. I create my own desire. Mm -hmm. And then I share it with a partner. Yes. Yes. When you're looking for your arousal and desire for another person to give that to you, that's just, it's, it's being needy. You're not bringing something to the table, right? So masturbation, whether you're partnered or not, you need to be masturbating on a regular basis because that's that's what gives you sexual energy. And something for you to bring to the table. So what does that mean? So when I'm having sex with a partner, I'm always engaging my body first mm-hmm. during foreplay. Right. So mm-hmm. I'm touching my clitoris. I'm playing with my, va- uh, you know, vaginal opening, whatever it is that's my preference. Mm-hmm. I have all the sex aids that I need to get me there. Mm-hmm. And then what it's about is two people being in the same space, yeah. creating sex energy in their own bodies. And then when we connect, the sex energy flows from one to the other. And that is really the high of partner sex, not having a simultaneous orgasm. Right, right. I wish we would just take simultaneous orgasm like off the table because it truly is a unicorn. It's happened for me once in my life and it's with a partner and that's when like the stars were aligned. Um, yeah. And it just happened. Uh, how about for you, Carlin? I think it happened once. Mm-hmm. Um, and it is, it's kind of like a fluke that it, that happens sometimes and it's based on where you are in your cycle and where you are in the relationship and what you're doing and so many things. But what I really enjoy is when the pressure is off. Right. And I'm stimulating my body while I'm maybe stimulating my partner or vice versa. And we're trading energy and taking turns. And I love when the energy is building in my partner's body. And mm-hmm. I can feel it building in them and it's building in me. And then it kind of feels like it goes in and out of both of our bodies. Yes. And that's the high. Right, right. Exactly, exactly. To me, chasing a simultaneous orgasm would be like trying to chase a simultaneous sneeze, right? It could happen, <laughs> but everything has to be just aligned just right. And is the sneeze any better? You know, is the orgasm any better? Not really. No. And and that's what we do in the workshops, right? We're all stimulating our own bodies, but we're in the same space. Mm -hmm. And so we're sharing sex energy. And so very often the orgasm will start with one woman and then it goes around the circle yeah, and then around again. Mm -hmm. And then we take some breaks and then it builds up again. And that's the stuff that's kind of magical. It's, It's like we get permission um, we get inspiration. Yes, we're yeah. creating our energy and we're bringing energy to the party. But then it's like, whoo, that it goes around and round and round. And I'm really looking forward to erotic recess this May six through ninth at Menla. Mm-hmm. For mm-hmm. that reason, it's different than when you're alone. Yes, yes, it is. It's d- it's definitely different. The same thing with partner sex. You're sharing energy in the same way. Um, you know, it's not about taking energy. It's about giving your own energy and then receiving the energy from the other person. We're each responsible for our own orgasm. Another mm-hmm. Betty Dotson tenant. Yeah. So try that with partners, mm-hmm. you know, stimulate yourself side by side in the same bed, then kind of play with sex acts that you like and see how it feels. Oh, there's no greater feeling when the energy we create is shared 
that is for me the sacred part of sexuality and it's much better than a simultaneous orgasm and if we scrape it off the plate we can actually have a good time yes